Justice for Our Neighbors is a ministry of the United Methodist Church, and we were established by UMCOR, United Methodist Committee on Relief, in response to the work that UMCOR has done historically since the Second World War in terms of helping to resettle refugees. You know, the, the whole crisis that's being described at the border right now is really around those people who are coming from the Northern Triangle countries of Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador who are fleeing chaos in those countries. They're fleeing lawlessness. The governments can't protect the people from the gangs. The gangs really are functioning as de facto governing bodies within certain communities. I met a young woman and she and her family had just come from Honduras. I finally asked her why they left. The standard response, because they think everybody should understand that people want to escape poverty. But that's not a good enough claim to get asylum. Poverty doesn't count as something that you can flee from. I probed a little further just to ask, you know, she said it was poverty, father couldn't find work, and the gangs in the area. I said, oh, did the gangs threaten your family? But she kind of sunk a little, and she just said, they hurt me. That's the reality that people are escaping. The people that are being pushed are the people that are seeking asylum. Que sepan que es una realidad lo que está pasando en nuestro país. Hay mucha gente que dice que es politiquense, que no es nada de eso, es una gran realidad. Hay mucha delincuencia en Honduras. En Honduras, si a uno le hacen algo, si habla a uno, lo mandan a matar. Están asesinando a muchas las mujeres hondureñas. La gente no sale de su país porque quiere, no porque hay necesidad. Lo obliga la situación de Honduras, está obligando a la gente a salir del país exageradamente con el gobierno que tenemos. No es un buen gobierno, es una persona que, bueno, corrupto. Hay mucha corrupción en Honduras. En Honduras no hay ya, ya no hay ni en quién confiar. La policía no puede en quién confiar porque yo he puesto demandas, digamos. Yo quise sacar visa para venir aquí, pero me estafaron. Me estafaron, me robaron ocho mil empiras. Honduras está, para mí es mi país, pero ahorita creo que están en lo peor de los países en todo, en todos los aspectos. Entonces sí, eh, me gustaría que, que los americanos, como le digo, den unas oportunidades a las personas. Como le digo, yo quiero superarme en este país y sé que con la ayuda de Dios, Dios va a abrir la puerta. My work uh, with the migrant population involves trying to coordinate the work of others in the uh, response to, to the immigrants, migrants that come through this area. Working in partnership with Good Neighbor Settlement House, which is in Brownsville, with uh, La Posada Providencia, which is in San Benito, is more of a shelter. Catholic Charities Humanitarian Respite Center here in McAllen that sees a large number uh, daily of folks seeking respite for just overnight or for a day. The way that I see it is that this isn't a political issue. This is not a, a one side or the other political issue. This is what the Bible tells us to do. This is what God, this is what Jesus tells us to do. Our Christian response to feed the hungry, to clothe the, the poor, that's what we're doing. This can be nothing but a Christian humanitarian response. If I were living in the situations that I have heard stories of, I would do the same thing with my family.